Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Flat Explain. Today we want to talk about spread operator and the null ever spread operator. This operator makes it possible for us to add multiple values to a collection. This collection can be for example a list, a set or a map. This operator is a replacement for add or at all operator in Dart. If you want to know more about add, I have created already a video which you can find in the info box. The spread operator is three dots. We can use this operator to add the list values to another list. And if we want to do a null check, we can add a question mark to the expression which we want to add to our list. Now let's have a look with some simple example how this is work in Dart. And after that, we will jump into our IDE and figure out how we can use it in our Flutter application. In our first example, we have two simple lists. They are both a list of integer, list A and the list B. Our first task is add list B to list A and print the result. For that, I will just call the A and Call, use the triple dot or the spread operator and call the A variable and after that append the list B to list A. And at the end, I'm going to print the list A. And as we can see here, the list B, which will start with 10, will ap is appended to our list A. In our next example, we want to see how we can handle the null. We have here a variable which is list null and we didn't assign any value to that. The task is here at the list null to A and print the result. Let's do it like this. We will create a list and now I will call the list A and append the list null to that. If I print here my variable A, we should get an error. And the error is null has no properties error. The problem is that, that the value of this variable is null. So for that, we will do a null aware check. What I'm going to do is just add a question mark and this will check if the value of this variable is null. If this is null, it's not going to append to the list A. And if this is not the case, the value of our second list will be appended to our list A. And now when we print it, we will see the exact same result as the previous one. Hey guys, this is the right moment to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And now let's go back to the IDE. In our next example, we want to see how we can use the spread operator with object. Here we have two objects, two variables, which is friend A and friend B. Both of them are a list of friends. And friend is a class which has two parameters, a name and an age. And here we have a name constructor. Our task is here, combine these both lists and add a friend with name Julia and age 15. And at the end, print all names. For that, I will create a new variable and will call it my friends. I will create a list and for that, I will call the friend A, append the friend B to that. And after that, I will create a new friend with name Julia and age 15 and last but not least i will call my friends and use the for each method to print each name so i will iterate through each friend and i will print friend dot name here we go we have four names which is a combination of first of all we have the names from our first list friend a sarah and jenny after that we have the ryan and last but not least is a new friend which will append here with the name julia in our next example we have two variables which are from type map string integer we want to combine the maps and figure out what will happen to the map instances with the same key but the same key means here because we have in the m1 we have um, james with the value 10 and in the m2 we have also james with value 20. now let's create a new variable which is going to be the m3 in my case and i will call the m1 and after that append the m2 to that 
Let's print it and see what will happen with James. First of all, the values or the elements from the map um, M2 will append it to M1. Therefore, we have here three elements. But we can see that James will occur just uh, once. And what will happen here is that because we have a map instance with the same key, which is the James, the last value from James will be override the other values, which means here in this case, the 20 will override the value of 10. And with that, the gems will occur just once in our map. In our last example, we have again two variables from type map string dynamic. Here we want to combine the students A and the student B and add an additional parameter as mathub uh, as a string and the 50 as value. For that, I will create a new variable and call it students. First of all, I will call the spread operator and call the student A. After that, we'll append the student B to that. And um, as a new parameter, I will just write my key, which is going to be the mahtab, and with the value 50. And now I will print the students and we will see a combination of students A with students B. And at the end, we just append our value key here as matter with 50, which is amazing. Now let's have a look and see how we can use the spread operator in our flat application. To show you how we can use it, I created here a small flat application, which I use it actually also in my shuffle tutorial. This is the same application. I will give you a small overview how this application is created. For creating this application, we will use a material app and as home, I use a dashboard a widget. This dashboard is a stateful widget, which contains a scaffold. In the scaffold, we have a column with two widgets, a list view builder and a raised button. The raise button contains our to-do, which we'll, we will come to it later. And this is actually this button with add cards. The list view builder will click create for us the list, the card list tile, which is this one. This widget is an extracted widget, which I created. We can find the link to this repository in the video description and have a closer look and see how I created. it. But for now, let's stay with that. The list view builder will create for us each card here. So I will jump to our cards to see how does it look like. This is a variable and it contains three card details. Each card has a D title, a subtitle and a URL path, which is here, the title, the subtitle, and we have the URL path, which I pass it for our um, icon button. And when I click on the icon, we use the URL launcher and open a new URL. What we want to do is actually to replace or to extend actually our cards with this new list that we have and we call it new cards. The new cards has two elements, two card details with different title, subtitle and URL path. Now let's jump to our to-do. As to-do, we want to add new cards to cards. For that, I will call the cards and after that, create a list. For that, I use the spread operator here. I call the cards and use again the spread operator and call the new cards here. What we did here is actually we replaced the cards with the extended list. Which means now if I click here and add cards, the two new lists should be added to our other cards. Perfect. As you can see here, we can add two more cards. I can click again and two new cards are gonna be extended again. So easy for, for works the spread operator in our flat application. Now we learn about the spread operator and the null ever spread operator. At the end, we've learned about how we can use this in our flat application. So guys, I hope you like it. 
If so, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The next video is going to be from Max, where he explained about the Git and the Git integration. I wish you a happy day and see you next time. Actually, the spread operator is a replacement for add or add all operator in Dart. If you want to, f to if you want to find more, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to want, if you want to know more about the. <laughs> <laughs>